What is up fellow YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. We're back at it again today with another tutorial. And today I'm gonna to tackle something I haven't covered before. To be honest, I haven't even painted this much, but we're gonna tackle cities. So stay tuned. We're gonna jump right into a tutorial on how to create some interesting looking cities with spray paint art. Cities are a subject matter that I haven't covered too much. I've never been really drawn to painting them. Nonetheless, I listen to your feedback, everybody. There's a lot of demand for a tutorial of this nature in the comment section. And it's gonna be a little bit different from the other tutorials in the fact that I'm not really experienced in what I'm showing you how to do today. I've done some research. I haven't even really practiced it. I've only done a few city paintings before. Nonetheless, we're gonna attempt one today and I'm gonna show you how to do it. What you're gonna need is some newspaper, plastic bags or magazine sheets for texturizing. Likely gonna need a palette knife at some point. Here I have some little hand bills. These are just some little kind of cardstock uh, things from an event I did previously. Those are gonna come into play later. We're going to need quick color black and white. This is the cheap stuff you can get on the bottom shelf at the hardware store. Probably black and white painter's touch, Rust-Oleum gloss. And then some colored cans. Today, I think we're gonna do pinks and purples. So that's what I'm gonna use. A couple other supplies and materials that might come into effect throughout the tutorial. A straight edge is likely something I'm gonna wanna use. But we'll play around with it. Let's have some fun and jump right in here. I'm gonna focus pretty strictly on just the cityscape today. So we're gonna do just a nice nighttime sky with some cities and see where that takes us. Maybe add some things in for spice along the way. First up, we're gonna shake up our cans here. I'm gonna be starting with a berry pink. All right, make sure your cans are all shaken up. We're going with our berry pink and we're just gonna lay down the general area that we think our city is going to be. We're gonna do two sections, kind of one over here and one over here. So just a nice light spray. When you're doing any of the scraping techniques, you don't want a ton of paint. because so when you move the paint and slide it, you are going to get a lot of paint pooling up from excess paint. All right, that should be good there. Next, we're coming in with some magenta. Just a little bit. And some grape purple. You might want to let this dry for a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my trusty torch here, but be very careful if you're using fire. Honestly, put this off to the side, get a fan on it, get some air flowing, take a little break, maybe work on another painting and come back to it. I'm gonna use a bit of fire, but uh, I'm silly like that. Don't do what I do. This will have set a little bit, which will be helpful. We're gonna go in and cover everything above this with Rust-Oleum Gloss Black, really keeping our paint thinly layered here. Again, we really don't want that paint to pool up when we start our scraping or creating of the actual cityscape. So just nice, nice light coverage. If you do get a little bit poking through here or there, that's totally okay, don't overthink that at all. And we got some pinks, purples, and whatnot underneath. Just for some contrast, we're gonna go in with some Caribbean blue here. Drag across like so. Maybe a little bit of this deep blue. Just light streaks. You definitely don't want to do a thick line or anything like that. 
keep it a little bit further away than you'd think you'd need to. And move your arm really quick and you get these nice kind of misty effects in here. Now I'm gonna come in with rust -oleum white and do the same kind of thing, just towards the bottom section though. Cities tend to emit a lot of light, uh, so this is gonna give a nice cool effect behind our actual cityscape. We're gonna do some nighttime stars by spraying some white onto our finger, flicking off to the side, and flicking onto our painting. I'm just gonna do mainly stars in the top section here. Cool. Now that we are good to go, we wanna move a little bit quickly. I'm gonna to try to avoid using clear coat here as much as possible. Uh, so we wanna act while our paint is still wet. That's where these cards come in. In the past, I've used a straight edge to make cities, um, but I did see someone create them with, with one of these handbills, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. What you're gonna do is lay this down, you drag, drag it up at an angle, and then straight across, and then stop. When you drag up on an angle like that, you really get that three-dimensional look. It's really nice and really effective. So we're gonna go in, and we're gonna make sure we wipe off our card in between and we're just going to play around with this a little bit play around and create like a little antenna just by scraping in. On the other side here, we're gonna go, we're gonna basically paint this from the perspective that we're looking down the center line here. So maybe let's do one kind of square, square building here. And then we are going to basically be doing the same thing, but Opposite direction here, drag up at an angle, straight across. Up at an angle, straight across, looking good. Do a little antenna for this guy here. It's a nice little base here for our city. It's a pretty simple technique. It really doesn't take too long to master. One thing you want to get good at though is those little angles. It really gives it that 3D cool effect. We're gonna go in next here, guys. We do a little bit of back to our berry pink. Just missed out the bottom section here. like so. And we're gonna skip the magenta and go straight into purple, just the lower section. Shade that in a little bit. And Rust-Oleum Black. And take our Rust-Oleum Quick Color White, and just streak across here a little bit. To add some kind of hazy smoke effect to this section here. I'm gonna rip my uh, poster board sheet or handbill in half here just so I get a little smaller uh, space to work with. We're just gonna go in and do some smaller kind of foreground buildings and whatnot and, uh, and see what we come up with. What I'm noticing now is if you put a little bit more pressure, you get these lines and those are pretty cool looking, uh, definitely desired effect, I think. So we're gonna go in, touch that up a little bit. We're gonna go forth and put just a little bit more pressure than we did last time. So I think that's giving a, a pretty cool result here.
I'm gonna get a new piece. I wanna do a slightly bigger building. I'm gonna leave uh, kind of nothing right here. I'm just gonna do a few more on this side again, switching the direction up. So up at an angle and then straight across. Continuing on, up at an angle, and straight across. And you get this little edge here where the paint is pooling up. That's where you're gonna to wanna to start your next building. And I'm noticing as I push down harder and harder on this poster board, I'm getting more of the paint pooling up, so factor that in as well. Kind of want to find that happy medium between the two. So that's looking pretty good. Definitely excited for my results here. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more of our great purple and just shade out the bottom section of this whole scene. And then I'm gonna come in with my quick color black, turn that purple into a nice fade, going into a darker black color in the foreground. And finally, going to our Rust-Oleum black and really solidifying that bottom section of shading. There you are guys, a little glimpse into how you can create some awesome looking cities. I'm gonna definitely play around with this. I had a lot of fun making this piece here. Take some poster board or cardstock or something like that. Start playing around, make sure you get the angles and the perspective right so you get that 3D effect. Experiment, practice a lot. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. That helps me out greatly. Subscribe and share this video if you found it helpful. If you guys want to stick around for more future tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Super stoked to be teaching you guys how to do some cool spray paint art. So make sure you follow along. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, don't forget to sign your painting.